Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set the default file size when you use the save or save as uh, option uh, with your Photoshop CC on your uh, Mac computer or this is the MacBook uh, operating system. So you can see here if I press on Shift Command S, that is the shortcut key to bring up save as and then you can see it's always go to the default Photoshop file. Now we want to change it so that it goes to the default um png file type so sorry uh, if we uh, go down here a little bit we want to go to the default say jpeg uh say png file then here's how you can do it now first we're going to um i'm just going to cancel out this one first and then we're going to click on the file menu at the top and then click on export and then we're going to go across and click on export preferences now in here you can choose either to um, export or quick export as PNG file or as JPEG, GIF or SVG. So those are the four files options uh, that you could choose. And once you select that one, you can choose the different settings such as the image quality for JPEG. For PNG, you can choose a transparency, a smaller file, 8-bit. And down here, you got the quick export location as where to export each time or uh, choose export file to an asset folder next to the current document. So this one here as I mean every time you press on the shortcut key, it will always going to bring up the prompt asking you. So let's test it out. So I'm going to click on the OK button over here to save the changes. And then now, so I want to, um, uh, another thing is we need to set the shortcut key. So let's go back here. And then we go down export and then okay so now that we've done that we need to um so i need to go into edit so go into edit and then click on a keyboard shortcut so let's go down here keyboard shortcuts so you click on keyboard shortcuts and then next we're going to select file so i'm going to click on file and then export and then quick export and you can see in here quick export as png and then we need to set a shortcut key so in here i have chosen to use the command key uh, combined with number one you can set any keys you like but for me i'm going to choose command with number one as you can see right here i'm pressing the command with one or you can choose command with number two so i'm going to choose command one and then click on okay so now that we have set the keyboard shortcut then we can test it now okay so let's test it now I'm going to change this one so you can see so I'm just going to change do something as you can see right there I make the changes and I'm going to use this shortcut command with number one okay I'm going to press on that so command one and you can see when I press on that this one comes up so I'm just going to do it again so you can see. So command 1. And you can see it bring up save as. And in here you can see it goes to PNG automatically. So if you want JPEG we can change that. So file export and then export preferences. And I'm going to choose JPEG. And we leave the default quality to 85 and then I'll click on OK. So let's test it again on the keyboard shortcut. Command 1. So Command 1. And now you can see it goes to the default as JPEG. So that's how you can set um, the keyboard shortcut to um, bring up the default save as file type. Now another quick handy uh, uh, tips. This is a bonus tips for you guys. Um, if you click on file, export and then click on export preferences now if you choose export files to an asset folder next to the current documents then it will not bring up the prompt and then i'm just going to click on ok so say i want to um, change i'm going to change that file um, it's not the file i'm going to change this text and then i'm going to give it say ttt and then i'll press on I just click outside to save the changes okay so if i press on the command one so this when i press on this shortcut the prompt will not comes up but it will automatically save the file uh, into my uh, document folder so if i uh, bring up the folder i'm going to show you so i'm just going to bring this one down 
and I'm putting up the finder in documents uh, it will save to the asset folder and you can see in asset folder I've got JPEG right here and if I open the one up and that's it so you can see it make the changes and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos